hello, hello. As you can see, this is a test server. And on today's test server, we are focusing on the Bane. Now luckily, I have already seen a few of the test servers, so I know a little bit of what to expect. It seems to work like a flamethrower, so to complement it, on the Hawk, I added flamethrowers. Now, for my hangar, I have gone with a Hangar X style hangar to get myself a little bit more familiar with the hangar itself. I'm, I'm also currently not using drones, which Oh, that's not drones. Well, well, well. Let's see what happens here. I don't have much experience with the mothership. So, um, I don't I don't recall saying I did see that this was a little laggy going through the options here and it has like stopped up a few times when I was setting it up but so far so good on this recording let's check out the VIP yeah, nothing nothing I'm not trying to create a squad I'm not looking at my clan And, um, yeah, I'll take a look at that in a little bit. I, I kind of wish I had, like, a little bit of a, a preview video on what I am going to be looking at as far as the test. That would definitely be a help. Uh, this way, when I do do the test, I could set it up to do the test and know what to watch out for and what I'm supposed to be noticing. But as you can see, I, I set up all my heavy weapons as a Bane. And uh, these first four robots, with their modules and all, are very much like uh, the test server. And in place of the Fafnir for the test server, I am thinking of uh, choosing this item right here, the Alguang. And just taking a, a stab at what the modules will be. But uh, I had chosen the modules to reflect the test server as well. As, as you can understand, I'm trying to get the most feel for the test server prior to. I've also invited uh, the team to um, join me. But um, having a little bit of scheduling conflicts with that. Also, a communication uh, due to language, but I have also implied it would be best, even uh, if they're using a foreign language, to communicate. I, I have no problem using a translator, and I can help people learn how to use them if necessary. But in battles and in tournaments, communication is key. And uh, the less bugs you have, or the more experience you have with items, the better you will be at uh, over uh, accomplishing your goals and um, taking your adversaries and making them merely small hurdles as you move on to bigger and badder opponents. You, you should definitely not have your own team as your adversary. That, that just is not a good thing. Remember, we're all here to work together to accomplish certain goals. So it is smart if we start with the work together part. And I do appreciate all the feedback and insight that I have gotten uh, from quite a number of people, even some that I, I, I will remain as a silent nod. Uh, I know he's been a great inspiration for me, and uh, yeah, I, I definitely appreciate the time he's taken 
uh, to converse with me privately and, you know, I, I wanted to let him know, so I I'm pretty sure he knows, so hopefully one day he may even run across this and hear the little bit of a nod. Hopefully I got my music at a decent level and, you know, but, uh, yeah, uh, that's kind of like the whole idea. I'm going to put on these little videos and whatnot, and hopefully, uh, you know, they're entertaining for you. Now, enough about this. I'm going to get in and start doing some uh, battling. Now, one thing to watch when you are going into battle is this average wait time. And if you do not see the average wait time, that would be an indicator that you're maybe not connected to the server. So you might want to watch out for that. Now, did you see that screen just go dark real quick? Don't panic. You know, when you're squatting, that can happen a lot. Well, let's see what these things can do. And I do hope that uh, here shortly in the future I'll have uh, access to better editing equipment. Maybe I'll put the, the music and whatnot on um, different uh, tracking. Right now I do everything live, so... That can be a little bit of a, a, a trick. Oh, come on. Alright, now as you see, you want to make sure you're in the ring. And you want to use your ability for the timely manner. Oh, what am I doing here? I'm, I'm using Steel Breaker. Alright. So you want to jump in where you're the most effective. Maybe it's back up. Keep them on their toes. You, you don't want to be predictable to the enemy. You want to keep your mind and your head in the game, but on a swivel too, you want to know what to expect, how to expect it. Yeah. Uh, now I got four guys over there, that means uh, they've got that one. I'm not going to be challenging four guys. I'll, I'll wait till they split off and I'll take the weak member. Um, now that I got a group of them, let's go ahead and use the... One 
flag. And we were to try to pile out of the season contained. Is there any of the uh, rest of the field? No? Okay. So I've got them all contained right here. That's, that's a good feeling for me. And I'll just slowly move in. I want to get out of the box. I'm going to slowly move in and just keep focusing them into a smaller and smaller portion of the map. I don't want them getting away. down there. So I'm going to jump in over here and see if I can uh, get a little hot flight in on them. It's all timing. Everything in life is that it, you mainly have to watch the clock. Because if you watch the clock correctly, you can do a lot with it. But if you overtax yourself, you won't do as much as you, you originally planned to. Now look at that. I may not be the highest of damage dealers there. But, you know, they're definitely acknowledging something with me getting the highest amount of gold. I'm in the top three. I have the uh, highest amount of beacons and uh, the second highest amount of kills. Second only to um, this pilot here. Let's see if I can uh, open his uh, hangar and take a look see what he's got. I don't think I can. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I can open his hangar and take a look at his setup. That would be a, a nice feature to add, uh, Pixonic, if I could uh, open up and take a look at my um, fellow players' hangers. This way I could understand how they're setting up and what their minds are on for setting up in this game. I only got to play three of these bots, and one of them very lightly. That shell performed very well. Uh, it, it could have been from having... It, it really has two of the I'm gonna open this up I, I really didn't think I put two of those modules really normally I wouldn't have done that me personally but uh, I guess I had so I'm gonna go with it And that's really odd that the, the shell is showing... Huh. That may be how the test server is set up, though. So, that could be a good possibility. I did base this off of the test server. Um, I could show you all that one, but uh, I would have to hop between screens, and I'm not really set up to do that. So, um, I don't see a way or how to upgrade this guy. 
seeing an indicator on the thing. It's kind of pointless to change your name. Um, not really going to worry about connecting it either. It does a fairly well enough job storing your information. And these test servers are uh, wiped once a week, so everything I do here is uh, merely temporary. But it's in order to help uh, figure out the do's and don'ts in the game and, you know, to test out the different weaponry. Uh, not only for yourself, but on behalf of Pixonic. So, looking at the different maps and the different play styles. Let's see, I got a guy jumping in on B. Uh, let's start off with the Phantom this time. No cover. And I chose these weapons for their similarity to the um, weapons on the um, test server. I know that uh, I did not have access to the Scotty Hill, or, so I just chose to go with the best I could figure out. Center and go protect that uh, that guy. Where's he going? He's going over here. Too great to see you, buddy. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you, boss. I definitely see what they were talking about. The ammo runs out quick. You gotta be real careful. What are you shooting at, buddy? Can't hit me when I'm in that mode. Gotta protect my rear. Oh, I'm Oh, hawks. Okay. Alright, alright. Uh, over here. Say hello. 
out to my little friend. The wind. Bring myself to the last bit because it's longer like this. Get a green cover. Oh, yeah. We're still doing pretty good. We got an advantage having 15 to their 11. So I'm going to drop in with my Titan. And I'm just going to play defensive. Oh yeah, and I'm learning uh, these weapons. I don't know them all yet. So I figured I'd try out the weapons for the Titan. I had avoided the test server for a while. I thought the test server was a, uh, a, a fool's errand, to be honest. But I didn't know. Well, I didn't pay attention to the gold bonus. So, if you do participate in the the test server, you can earn 1,600 uh, gold or per month, that's 400 per session. And, you know, it's not too shabby. The amount of work you have to do to participate in this test survey. And you're talking about filling out one survey. And the truck is all there. You know, you may run a couple tests. You definitely want to use a cover. And you want to target, especially these weapons here. Yeah, they're, they're, and you got them boxed in pretty nicely. And I see they're mostly looking that way, so I'm going to sneak in from behind. Because when you can come in behind your enemy, at least you're not looking down the barrel of their gun. Uh, let's see where they're grouped up. And let's give them an orbital strike. Seem like I'm getting the orbital strike, but now focus on a enemy here. Oh, I'm gonna waste my flight here. Yeah, I wanted to focus on him. Let's see him as the greatest threat at the moment. I'm getting ahead. Got me. Alright, uh, let's see. Let's, let's come in once again from this side. Gotta work on flanking them. Hopefully, I won't get seen. Okay, so the orbital strike wasn't an offensive, but a defensive. Maybe that's why it struck me. Alright, I'm about to lose my life here. And they took the lead. I was playing a little too aggressively. Which, you need downside. What is he running, a boa? Oh, no. I thought it was a boa. I missed my boa. But that's a behemoth. And a Rocky. Both have missing weapons. Or we go with a mix and match modem. And our meme. A mender goes down. I think that's a curacer modem. Behemoth on the move. 
Blue Team's down to one guy, it looks like, Mr. Willy Wonka. Willy! It's only you, buddy. Can you pull it off? Can you, can you handle that cut? You got a couple of them coming on your six, get, and, and you're smart. You're going for the guy all by himself. These guys have names. I'm gonna say shop. Uh, yeah, dude, uh, you need cover. And you're not gonna get cover there. Poor Willie. Yeah, they whack Willie. So, alright, it looks like, uh,. A cyclone totem Minos ended up taking uh, the kill there. It looks like, I have to say. Uh, yes, I will be giving feedback. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look and see what's available here. See, I'll, I'll do a little bit of, uh, of getting ahead of the game sometimes. As you just saw the, uh, the test server. See if I can minimize that. No, it's not going to let me minimize that. Alright, so... Will let me go from page to page. Uh, my live server ID. Paste. And you don't have to include your. Um, I, I don't believe you do. Let me. Not the test app one. I, I don't believe you have to include your platform any longer. So let's go ahead and. Uh, to server. And once again, we're gonna go over here. That one happened to be this, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy that. Go back to this. Hit a little paste action. Uh, let's hit next. Um, yeah, it says your in game is six symbols, so you no longer have to include your platform. So let's go ahead and delete the platform. And I will be pausing the video or stopping the video. Um, I didn't see any of that. Um, at this point because I'm a, a big supporter of everybody having their own opinion and I do not want my opinion to be mimicked or orchestrated um, so I, I do encourage you all to have your own opinion and I do encourage you to participate And um, this is the first time I'm seeing this, so I didn't see the Mantis ship or the monk. All right, now I'm gonna have to actually back out. So I'm actually just looking over, seeing what I am going to be testing. And I didn't see how to change off my uh, drop ship, so. I'm going to have to do a little further research in order to properly um, give my opinion. Because if you don't know, how are you going to voice an opinion if you don't know? 
Well, I am actually going to back out at this point and see what happens after a little bit of more research. Well, thank you for tuning in. Uh, let me know what you thought about the um, the video. Hopefully, you know, I've shown that, yeah, not always is the game about win or lose. Sometimes it's about learning how it works. So, cumulatively, uh, uh, and as I said, right now I'm looking it over to make sure I know what questions they're wanting answers to. Rate the Mantis ship. Here, let's go ahead and do the smart move. I'm going to take a picture of this. that one the first. Alright. Uh, I think I used it twice. I'll have to double check. Why the opportunity swaps I didn't see that. A lot of different turrets. Alright, so it looks like the dropship is going to be the next drone. Which, you know, I honestly understand what they're doing with the phone in support. And I understand how people don't completely understand it yet. And I definitely understand Adrian's opinion how this is becoming a very overcomplicated uh, process, especially for a mobile platform. So hopefully, people are patient enough to see what benefits there could be. Um, uh, you easily accumulate. Uh, and, and definitely take the time to participate in these test servers. This way you will know and be able to voice your opinion on what is coming up in, within the game. And like they say, if you don't vote, you don't have the right to complain. And I'm a, I'm a little bit of a complainer, so I, I'm going to definitely participate. I... I, I during the drones, I did not participate, especially when the rework came about, and I may have forfeited uh, my voice in the decision process, I, and that, to me, I, I, I think has been costly to us all. So hopefully, uh, I will... Um, be making a little bit more effort to participate in these test servers but once again thank you for uh tuning in and definitely thank you for your comments likes and uh support i know i could use as many subscribers as possible i'm trying to join onto the uh creators club and that's not an easy process for independent uh free-minded persons like myself and as I said, you know, I'm looking to increase the quality of the videos and production of uh, this YouTube channel. So please uh, join with me along that journey. I, I definitely am out to help you discover things about the game. And uh, as you can see, I have access to the test server, so... I have no problem testing things out here for you or on the live server I've got three different accounts some in the lower leagues and I'm working on getting into the higher leagues so hopefully I'll have a little bit of a sample from each of the leagues for you all to get a, a full spectrum of thought thank you for tuning in and uh, 
I hope to see you again. Please leave your comments, remarks, or whatnot in, in the comments below. I do take requests, so don't be shy. And I, I try to be mindful to comment and reply to comments. And if you are looking for subs for your channel, make a comment. to leave um, I want to back out I'm gonna go back to the test server and uh, at this time I'm gonna call it a end to the video while I go and discover how to play with a dropship thank you for your time effort and energies Good luck, Commanders.